Okay, Dr. Sait, then even after the havoc of the second wave, why does vaccine hesitancy persist? Uh, it has been clearly identified that in Muslim dominated areas in particular, uh, there is that hesitancy which is peaking and that is the reason why Maharashtra has robed in Salman Khan for spreading that message that vaccine is needed. So, so there's myths and misinformation. It's a natural part of what's happening all across the world. We must understand that. It's a natural human tendency. In fact, the last leg of vaccination in any vaccination is the most difficult because it's not just the first dose hesitancy, it's also the second dose hesitancy. And this exists in groups and individuals and in social communities whereby we have to dispel the myths. But it's always considered as a combination of convenience, complacency as well, and then the myths. And this is what we've got to identify. For example, while we've said the reasons could be many, it could be that certain communities, certain regions, certain districts have different reasons compared to others. And unless we identify those, our actions cannot be just overarching, which they should be, by the way, as, as regards hesitancy is concerned, but also very specifically aimed at certain aspects. And that's why Salman Khan probably has come in for a certain subgroup of people. I want to emphasize one more important thing as we move ahead, because it's going to get more and more difficult. And by the way, hesitancy has gone down from when we started vaccination. That's well understood. Yeah. Hesitancy used to be 60% at that time. Now it exists in patches and few. But that's the most important ones. That's the ones which we have to get over and it's going to get tougher. So what we need to do is certainly, I think the government should be looking at that if vaccination is available, let's try and cut the gap down. Hmm. Dr. Pandit is right. Three months of a gap was good in terms of science and availability at the rice crossroads earlier on. Okay. But now we also know that we can actually give it at two months instead of three months. And by the way, 90% inoculation is happening with OV Shield rather than co-vaccine. So if let's get on with it, let's actually decrease the timings because when people have three months, they tend to become complacent and say, but life's carrying on. And look, we hardly see any COVID, the, the, the COVID around, but that's so wrong because when they get hit, they yes. could be hitting, so maybe, get, hitting badly. Maybe because of One that gap thing. that is there I, between two doses of COVID Shield, that's making people complacent. Taking